When a new person comes to work in the office, the dynamics change. It's been a few weeks now, and despite all my efforts, Jane refuses to talk about anything but work. Everyone has a right to their privacy, but in an office as small and intimate as ours, silence can be deafening. I was almost ready to give up until today, because today, everything changed. Today, Jane Fairfax received an anonymous package. Ooh. Seriously, I have bent over backwards to try to make Jane feel comfortable. No matter what anyone, aka Snarky Knightly, thinks. I have offered her advice, asked her opinion, and even tried to help decorate her office. It's not that she refuses to answer my questions, oh no. But what she does say would make a UN diplomat proud. Then this morning, the package arrived. With no note, no return address, and no receipt. Even the delivery guy couldn't tell me where it came from. How mysterious is that? I cannot wait until Jane gets here. There is something I never thought I'd hear you say. What do you mean? I have been very welcoming to Jane. Yeah, more than I expected. One might even say overly friendly. As the face of this company, it is my job to make sure everyone feels comfortable. Did it ever occur to you that your constant questions might be making Jane feel uncomfortable? Remember, some people like to keep their personal and professional lives separate. Well, that's kind of hard to do when there are three people here who have known each other since... Forever! That's not entirely true. You and Jane were never very close growing up. We haven't seen her since she was like 18. Exactly! We sit here and she went off and had this whole other life that we know nothing about. Are you curious? Not really. Maddie keeps us pretty up to date on her activities. She's done really well for herself. Oh, that's her career, her volunteer work. But what about the rest? Like what? Oh, wow. See, that's what I get when I talk to one workaholic about the other. Believe it or not, there's more to life than this office. Look, my point is that it's up to Jane to decide how much she wants to share with you. You can't force people to open up. Okay, well, most people can't, but you shouldn't. Wait, why are you putting this on me? Jane can think for herself. Because some people just naturally take charge, okay? You walk into a room and people pay attention, so what you say or do matters. And that's a bad thing? Well, some will like you for it. Some will resent it. You have no control over that part. But... But you can control how you use it. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> oh my god, you nerd. <laughs> Emma, Jane's here. She just went into her office. Thank you, Harriet. It's showtime. What? Knock, knock. Good morning. I just wanted to go over, is that a new computer? Yes, it is. Good for you, I was just saying that you needed to get a new one and you made an excellent choice. Very expensive and very impressive. When did you order it? I didn't, it was just here. You mean it was a gift? How thoughtful. Who's it from? There was no note. Um, maybe it's from your aunt. She could never afford this. Perhaps it's a gift from someone in London, a friend wishing you good luck at your new job. Possibly. So what did you want to talk about? Ah, oh, it can wait. We should go ahead and set this up. I'd call our IT guy, but he's unavailable. <laughs> it's okay, I can manage. Gorgeous flowers, I love that arrangement. Where did you get it? Those were also a present. From the same person? One would have to assume they came at the same time. Interesting. You know, flowers are traditionally a romantic gift. Are you seeing someone? Not at the moment. Where are you seeing someone? My career keeps me very busy. Maybe it's a secret admirer. I don't think so. Oh, come on, you're beautiful, smart, successful. I don't get out that much. Stranger things have happened. I prefer to focus on work, and if there isn't anything else, I'd really like to get back to it. Of course. Enjoy your computer. And the flowers. Jay knows who it is. She knows and she's not saying. This explains so much. Of course Jane isn't opening up to me. She can't afford to talk to anyone because Jane has a big, deep, dark secret and I'm gonna find out what it is. And not because I'm nosy. This is for Jane's own good. She could use a friend to share her burden with. I'm not going to be the friend she wants. I will be the friend she needs. <laughs>